How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be jumping back on the 2015 Dodge Dart. We're going to finally be reassembling and reinstalling the front bumper. And once we finish up with that, we're going to be applying a full Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film to the front bumper. So let's get started. Grab the film, grab the bumper, get it applied, and get the bumper back on the car. guys so we got all the other pieces done the next thing that we're gonna do is the big piece here that's the last piece that we have on the kit we're gonna pull that film off and start applying it to the bumper
Alrighty guys, so we got the entire front bumper reassembled and the Expel paint protection film installed. Next it's time to get this car lifted up in the air on the quick jacks and get the bumper reinstalled. Let's get right going on it now. So there you have it guys, the bumper is snapped back on. There's the end result, it's clipped on along the fenders up here on either side. Now we have to go ahead and bolt it in with all the bolts along the top, the bottom, and in the corners of the bumper there where it attaches to the fender. And then we'll go ahead and put the closeout panel on up here. Once that's done, this will be fully completed and this car will be ready to go back on the road. Now we're going to check our hood alignment along this front gap and make sure everything's perfect there. And it all looks good. Looks perfectly like it did from the factory. Next, we're going to install these seven 8mm bolts that hold the bottom lip of this bumper into this arrow guard right here. So let's get those knocked out right now. Next, we'll finish up with the inside of the fender liners here. On the inside here, there's three 8mm bolts and one 10mm bolt that goes into the bottom of the fender. That's the same on each side. We're going to get both sides knocked out, and this will be fully complete.
so there's the final result guys we got the bumper reinstalled the closeout panel on all the gaps line up perfectly the hood aligns properly and the expel paint protection film is looking perfect down here really happy with how it turned out so that's going to be the end of this video guys hope you guys found it interesting if you did feel free to drop a comment down below don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the channel and as always you guys thanks so much for watching and have a great day